And I've got a very simple part here. Um, and I'm going to start by just quickly running through customer defaults. Don't look in the sheet metal area for flat pattern labeling. Go to PMI. Everything's in PMI now. It is a PMI component. And we have a sheet metal se section there. Here's your different decimal places for linear and angular tolerances. Body and bend is not really changed, but just remember in the last release, we had the ability to have prefix and suffix on every single label for body, bend, PMI. And then we come to flat pattern. We can turn on and off various configurations. Here's your label placement, horizontal or aligned with bend, which is new. Also the layer for the actual PMI notes. And then in the PMI configuration, you can set everything up within customer defaults in terms of your presentation. If we jump straight across into preferences PMI, remember we're in PMI, not sheet metal here. And we come to the sheet metal segment. Within general, you've got the same thing. Of course, you can do this in your preferences. When we come to flat pattern view, We've got the uh, the option here, the layer option within preference. You can specify a layer or just go for the default work layer. And then within the bend configuration, we've added the option to create line break. So I can actually add a line break or I can delete a line break and configure this on one, two or many lines. But let's jump in and see what's got what we've actually got here. So if I create a flat pattern. And OK that and we'll go and have a look at the flat pattern here. This is a typical out of the box presentation. OK, we can still move these around. We can hold down shift and move the leader. Nothing new there. Um, that's actually quite a hidden one, actually, the shift to, to move the leader. Um, caught me out a while, especially on the whole detail. If I want to move this up here, I just hold down shift and it jumps around to the right, the right side. Anyway, let's jump back here. So I'm going to go into whoops. I'm going to go into preferences, PMI, and I'm going to reconfigure my flat pattern view to be aligned with bends. And this is this is a specific customer request that doesn't want the bend sequence ID. I don't want the bend name. I want the bend radius first. So I just reorder. I want the bend direction. And I want the bend angle. OK, and we just reorder those, turn off neutral factor. I can delete all of these line breaks. I can always add them back in. But this is just going to add to the, the size of the note. And now bend radius, I just want to say R, then the value. Bend direction, I don't want anything there. So I'm just going to hit space so it separates the, the different labels there. And then outside bend angle. I'm going to have space and then in the suffix, I'm going to go and put in a degree symbol. Back on flat pattern view, align with bends, I did that. And now I'm going to create another new flat pattern. And we'll take a look at this. And you can see now I haven't done the note. You can see now that we've got the uh, the labels aligned with the bends as requested. I can move these. OK, we don't currently have a way to snap them back again. I can snap them to the center, but that's something. Uh, give us some feedback and tell me what you think. And then the, the one thing that I did miss there on the settings there, I've got material thickness. Let's move that dialog out the way and drop that over there. And of course, I want to put in a line break to pop it on its own line there. And I'm going to put in a material thickness topic. So mm for millimeters and i can configure the note there as well so lots going on there the one thing i missed out here was this one where i'm going to change the angular decimal places to one and increase the linear decimal places to three so we've got individual control over those there